Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio. Brought to you by OnPay. Built in Atlanta, OnPay is the top-rated payroll and HR software anywhere. Get one month free at OnPay.com. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Atlanta Business Radio, and this is going to be a good one. But before we get started, it's important to recognize our sponsor, OnPay. Without them, we couldn't be sharing these important stories. Today on Atlanta Business Radio, we have Dr. Stephanie White, Senior Clinical Medical Director with Aetna, a CVS health company. Welcome, Dr. White. Thank you for having me, Lee. Well, I'm excited to learn what you're up to. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, CVS Health, at number one, and we'll go from there. Absolutely. Well, CVS Health is a leading health solutions company. We've reached more people and improved the health of communities across America through our local presence, digital channels, and over 300,000 colleagues, including more than 40,000 physicians, pharmacists, nurses, and nurse practitioners. We have more than 85% of Americans living within 10 miles of a CVS pharmacy, 9,000 CVS pharmacy locations nationwide. So in a nutshell, we help people navigate the healthcare system and their personal health care by focusing on quality of care, convenience, improving access, and lowering costs. Now, I would imagine because CVS Health has such a uh, broad kind of, um, I guess you touch so many people uh, in in the in health in, in their health kind of journey. You recently had the opportunity to do a survey, and you were able to glean some interesting insights. Can you talk a little bit about that healthcare insights study that you guys? Uh, Kind of put together? Absolutely. So the Healthcare Insight Study by CVS Health is now in its fifth year. And the goal of this study is to understand the needs and the mindsets of consumers as they pursue their individual healthcare journey. So Atlanta was one of the regions that we focused on in this year's journey, this year's study, I apology. And so the study finds that people have embraced a holistic outlook on health and they want more meaningful and engaging relationships with their healthcare providers. And they're increasingly searching for a new kind of healthcare experience that's simpler, less costly, and efficient. So what is there anything actionable that um, companies can take regarding that? Like, is there anything the medical practitioners should take away from that or anything that the consumers can take away from that? Oh, absolutely. So accessibility and affordability of healthcare services were a prominent theme among the respondents, right? So one of the things that we're doing is making certain that we're accessible and available. Again, 85% of Americans are within 10 miles of CVS pharmacy, 400, um, sorry, let me restate that. There are 200 CVS pharmacies in the Atlanta metro area. There are nearly 40 with Minute Clinic and Health Hub locations. So we're creating access to our locations as well as um, the survey results show that nearly one in four um, Atlanta respondents preferred using the pharmacy over the ER or urgent care center post-pandemic. So they were looking to their local pharmacy as their source of care. So we're providing that access and that route of um, service for them. So as well, sorry. So, right so do you think that because of that, there's going to be more opportunities for people to go into a CVS a pharmacy to get kind of a little more care than than maybe historically pharmacies have offered? Absolutely. Our Minute Clinic locations offer a wide range of essential women's health services, such as treatment for yeast infections, pregnancy, UTI testing. We also offer um, 
minor injury and illness treatment at, at our health hubs. We're also committed to addressing um, social determinants of health and focusing on key, key challenges within the community. So among the things that our Atlanta respondents identified was an issue for them was transportation. So we've partnered this year with Uber and local community art organizations and kicked off Health Zones Atlanta as an initiative. And this initiative provides free transportation to residents living in the 30318 zip code so they can more easily access health facilities, food tra- pantries, and vaccination appointments. Now, or is there an um, initiative that is going to target telehealth? At, we are expanding um, our telehealth. We have um, a CVS virtual primary care, care health, which is um, a f- evolution of a physician-led comprehensive primary care model that brings together a multidisciplinary team um, to offer patients coordinated care. And in this model, um, Patients get the opportunity to have a continuous relationship with um, on-demand care, chronic disease management, and mental health services. And absolutely, um, virtual health is an offering there. So now uh, let's talk a little bit about mental health. That seems to be very popular nowadays. Is there an opportunity there to address the consumer's mental health needs that seem to be... um really prevalent, especially, you know, as we get through the pandemic. In the Atlanta metro area, there are nearly 40 CVS health mini clinics and health hub locations. At these locations, we have licensed therapists to provide on-site confidential mental health counseling. And we're looking to expand access to mental health well-being and telehealth services. But anyone can visit the minuteclinic.com to find a location near them. And what's really important here, and I'm glad you highlighted this, since 2019, our nationwide virtual visits for mental health ballooned from 10,000 to over 10 million last year. So that's like a thousand fold increase. And that just punctuates our ability to meet the need and the scale of what is clearly a critical public health increase. And what the data actually showed is that the Atlanta respondents were concerned about the mental health well-being of their loved ones. And that was one of the stressors that they identified over the past year in the survey data. Now, do you think that this uh, influx of mental health um, requests, is it something that all of a sudden now there's more people suffering or is it now there's less maybe shame in getting help? I think that people are looking for the opportunity to have a conversation and relationship with their providers that they can discuss stress, they can discuss happiness, their health levels, and have a holistic approach when um, dealing with their health care provider. And that's what the um, data actually show. They're seeking higher levels of engagement and communication. And that is what um, the data is reflecting. And that's what our offerings are trying to provide. And that's why you will find therapists in our many locations. We're expanding services for telehealth. We're doing the virtual care um, with the physician-led teams that are engaging with both a virtual health option and care as it needs to be and in home when they need to be. So what's your backstory? How'd you get involved with CVS Health? I am a pediatrician by training. I joined the company after um, being non-clinical and leading um, the Chicago Public School District Health System. Um, health there. And I just have a passion for care and um, making certain that we uh, address the the needs of those who need services. And that's a beautiful segue. And I'm glad you asked me that because there's one more thing I want to punctuate that we're doing that speaks to why I'm here. And that is uh, our Project Health Initiative 
that's addressing some of the social determinants of health. That's really my passion. And um, CVS Health is doing a wonderful job of this Project Health Initiative, which brings community health services to those who are under-resourced. And at beginning mid-August, our mobile RV units will serve several Atlanta metro areas providing screens to our Project Health seniors. And these screenings identify those who have high blood, pre- you know, blood pressure levels, glucose levels, cholesterol levels. And in my prior life, I've done screenings like this. And you are surprised at those who are walking around with malignant, you know, life threatening high blood pressure levels, um, cholesterol levels, leading them on the path to coronary artery disease, and they have no idea. So screenings like these are wonderfully helpful. We have more than a dozen lined up in the Atlanta metro area between now and the end of the year. Those interested can contact cvs.com slash project hyphen health to find out about an event near them cbs.com slash project hyphen health to find out about an event near them. But we've done, we've provided um, $7.6 million worth of free medical services in just the Atlanta, Atlanta area via Project Health since 2006. And this type of work really um, drives the passion and speaks to us getting out there. And that's my story of how I came here to do things like this. Now, can you share a story maybe of your time working with folks kind of boots on the ground that these kind of screenings are uh can save lives. This is catching things, knowing your numbers are, are things that are important to catch things before they become real, really problematic. I mean, I think that a lot of folks don't take the initiative in terms of knowing their numbers and getting checked out and doing some of these screenings in, in order to catch things before they become very big problems. Um, and maybe even, you know, kind of end of life problems if you wait too long. Can you share a story, maybe a personal, you don't have to name their name, but just explain what it was like for this person to go through a screening, identifying this and really nipping something in the bud? Oh, absolutely. So I did a large screening like this in the Chicago area at Navy Pier, a huge convention center. And um, they were offering the exact same things, glucose, cholesterol, hypertension, um, blood pressure, um, checking for your bone. And as the people went through, they were offered, they then got, they did lung function as well. They then got to sit with the physicians that were there to do an interpretation of the results and um, explain what that meant. So I was one of the docs there on site doing it. And one of the gentlemen who came to sit with me was someone who was uninsured who um, said he had no symptoms. He was just, it was free. He got in line and said, why not? Had not seen a doctor in at least 10 years. And the level of the, the magnitude of his hypertension, the level of his blood pressure, how high it was, was what we would call malignant hypertension. It was extremely high. He said he had no high headaches. He said he didn't have any dizziness. He had no problems. He denied any of that to the point where he didn't believe me when I was, you know, like my heart was palpitating on his behalf. And um, so we talked to him. We asked about family. I asked about family history and other things. And there were some things there that were triggers, but actually called an ambulance for him. He could not leave. I could not have him leave the convention center like, well, that, you know, so this is how we go. You need to follow up with a doctor. We need to link you with somebody. No, we need to call an ambulance and you need to immediately be sent somewhere for care. It was that bad. And that's the thing Uh, to the person. They may not even notice. And then they're dead. Like it's that dramatic. And I'm not. Hypertension is called the silent killer. So, yes. So that so when you take these to communities that lack regular access to health care resources, the impact is critical. Yeah. And this is something that when you are if you haven't been to the doctor in any length of time and you have an opportunity to get a screening, these are things these aren't nice to have. These are must haves. Absolutely. So one more time, if somebody wants to learn more about, um, you know, these clinics and these screenings and things like that. Project health event, cvs.com slash project hyphen health. 
Well, Dr. White, thank you so much for sharing your story today. You're doing such important work, and we appreciate you. Thank you so much, Lee. It was a pleasure. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We'll see you next time on Atlanta Business Radio. Today's episode of Atlanta Business Radio is brought to you by OnPay. Built in Atlanta, OnPay is the top-rated payroll and HR software anywhere. Get one month free at OnPay.com. 